The expectations have risen every year. This group did a tremendous job. The girls did a wonderful job. Awesome effort, great communication. Girls played with passion, had fun. I mean, really proud of the group. Just really proud of the team. Fucking retarded. You're fucking retarded? Yeah. Did you hate going to practice? Were you scared, scared? Hated it, did not want to go. We had girls crying in the locker room after practice almost every day about something. Let's go! spoke to me and I, I reached out to a few people about um, this, this volleyball team that apparently there was something going on with the coach and it had been all very hush-hush for a long time. You took a stand together. Yes. We had 14 girls in our team and we had nine go to the administration with either personal problems or trying to present team issues, trying to get this man fired and out of the program completely. When you speak to administration officials, especially at a school like this, which is a private private school has a brand, which is one of the things that a lot of them told me is that you know, we, we have to protect our brand as a school. What kind of response did you get from the administration and the athletic department? It was awful. It was almost like they wanted to ignore it. They didn't want to listen to us. And the few rules the NCAA does have to protect players from abusive coaches are often ignored. It wasn't until the last couple of weeks when one of the girls wrote an article on the tab online that all of a sudden people started approaching me knowing that I was writing this story and sharing with me exactly what was going on. So all of a sudden I went from having no information to having a flood of information coming in. I had documents, photos, girls willing to speak and it was very difficult because a lot of them, most of them, pretty much all of them, were not willing to speak on the record. The, that week leading up to the article was probably the most stressful week of my life, getting everything analyzed, verified, you know, making sure this, this girl says this, what about this, or is, is this true, that sort of thing, and um, it finally all came together after a couple sleepless nights. You know, it's always hard to say if something you do makes a difference, but in journalism that's what you hope happens, is that you report fairly and accurately, and the people who want to make a difference or see an injustice correct those wrongs now. Um, there has been an immense outpouring online from people, alumni, students, faculty, about the article. In fact, uh, one online message board had over 40,000 views as people talked about the article. There are over 200 people speaking on the OGB forums. Blogger So Dear talked about it, which is a huge um, Wake Forest blog about it's, it's most focused on sports. And um, even, the, even the National Volley Talk boards, which is where parents come and coaches come to talk about volleyball. I mean, it was just a huge story there. So um, although maybe there hasn't been any specific tangible um, in response from administration or, or from the program yet, it's definitely making waves on that. Let's go! Yeah!